today we're gonna learn how to use the location object method that we have in Cypress. We're gonna learn how to validate, for example, the host name. We're gonna validate the protocol if the website is uh, or actually is working under HTTP, HTTPS, or if not. And we're gonna learn a lot of stuff here. For example, uh, validate the hashing. It, 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 um, I don't know a lot of stuff. So uh, welcome back. It's a pleasure to have you here. This is Joang Media. Please subscribe if you want to keep learning about automation. Please let me know your comments in the section below if you have any improvement, advice, or something like that. So let's go ahead and start with this beautiful topic. It is important to mention that I'm going to use a, a, well, this file here under integration and location. I'm going to name this location.spec.js. All right, inside of this uh, file, we're gonna write down the uh, well, the test scripts, right? And it is important to mention that for this video, we're gonna use this um, well, this key and value inside of Cypress.json, all right? It is Chrome Web Security. It is gonna be equal to false because well, I, I learned <laughs> that this um, protocol or actually location method uses or needs sometimes this um, object notation here, all right? So just have that in mind. Let's go ahead and start with this beautiful uh, video, all right? Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be using this website that I have here, which is sauce-demo.com, all right? Um, as you can see, it is a simple signing section. We're gonna validate a variety of things. For example, the first one it is gonna be, for example, the URL, the complete URL. Then we're gonna validate if uh, it has the correct protocol or not. In this case, I want to make sure that it has HTTPS, all right? And um, then I'm gonna validate if the um, the host name is the correct one. So just this part of the URL www.sourcedemo.com then I want to validate something else for example let's let's imagine that I come here and I like I log in with the correct uh, uh, well credentials right so I click here on inventory and then I want to make sure that this path here uh, slash inventory that HTML is the correct one so that's basically the uh, the test path that I'm gonna be using and following all right so let's uh, start and please watch this until the end because you're gonna learn a lot of stuff here interesting all right so let's go um i'm gonna go to my visual studio code and um, program right i'm gonna start writing my describe my describe is gonna be a uh, name for example location demo okay i'm gonna just come here and call a function callback function here and inside of this um, describe, I want to create a hook, which is gonna be a before each. If you wanna learn more about hooks, please go ahead to my video uh, about hooks in Cypress, all right? Before each, and inside of, he of this hook, I need to call a callback function, right? So I'm gonna come here and we'll call my, my function. And inside of this hook, I'm gonna use the command cy.visit. And inside of this, I'm gonna pass my string where with my, which is my uh, URL, the website that I want to test. Now, every single it that I create is gonna come uh, or actually execute this before each hook, and it is gonna be visiting the same website here. Um, so I just wanted to do that. And now I'm gonna create an, uh, the first it that I have in my mind. The first one is gonna be, um, let me see, um well I, I think that i thought that I, I was going to start with the url however i want to check something else i want to um show you something very interesting for you <clears throat> okay i'm sorry i'm sick <laughs> i'm gonna look for the title tag that i have in my html which is swag labs all right i want to make sure that this title is the correct one so i have a particular method in cypress that help us to do that so i'm gonna use this and i'm gonna create an it named a uh, should have title tag with value for example swag labs right i want to make sure that the title tag has the value swag labs so i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna create a callback function right and i'm sorry let me see what is happening function and the callback function inside of it i'm gonna 
called the method CY that title, right? That's it. Now this method has the correct title or it is gonna have the, the, the title that I need. And I don't know what it, what is not working here. Let me see, Fun function. All right, there it is, <laughs> I'm sorry. So now I'm gonna uh, call a, a assertion and I'm gonna make sure that it equals the URL or actually the title equals to Swag Labs. All right, that's it. Now Cypress is gonna validate if as soon as I visit this website, it has a title Swag Labs when it, the website is loaded. So let's go ahead and verify if it is happening or not. I'm gonna go to the package.json.com.com, I'm sorry, package.json file, and I'm gonna run my um, test runner. All right, so I come here, go to the terminal, npm run, and execute Cypress Open. If you want to learn the differences between Cypress Open and Cypress Run, please, well, go to my playlist and make sure that you understand the differences. Because, for example, with Cypress Run, we can run a headless browser and we can specify different web browsers at the same time. Well, a lot of stuff that you need to know. So let's go ahead and continue with this location video. <laughs> and if you come here and check for the location folder and inside of it, I have the location that is spec.js file that I need. So I'm gonna come here, click on it, and you will see that my website is gonna load, right? And my first it is executed. Right now I'm testing that as soon as I visit the website, I have the title tag equaling or actually well passing the assertion and it has swap labs as expected. That's it. That's good. Let's continue. So I'm going to create another it, right? Uh, the second one is going to be to validate the URL of the website. So we're going to learn this new uh, command that I have here. All right. I'm going to create a new it and it is going to be URL should be and well, I'm going to just copy the whole URL that I have here. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I'm going to call a callback function. Function. That's it. Inside of the callback function, I'm going to call my the new method that I want to show you, which is CY URL. Now it is going to contain all the URL that uh, we have right now in the website. In this case, is this one. Right, so I'm gonna uh, make sure that the URL should equal right, and I have to pass the parameter that I want to check. In this case, it's sauce-demo.com. Mm -hmm. And if I run this, um, well, this test case, you will see that it is working fine, as you can see here in the test runner. Um, as you can see, it visited the website and then validate the URL. In this case, we have in, in the URL space saucedemo.com and it is equal to the string that I passed. <coughs> I'm sorry. So let's continue with the next it. Hope that you're enjoying this video because I think that it is very interesting and probably you will learn a lot of stuff here right now. So let's continue with the next one. The next one is going to be to validate the, um, the host name, all right? And or actually, we're going to test something else. We're going to make sure that this website is working under the protocol HTTPS. How I can do it? So uh, we're going to use the location method of Cypress. Let's learn how to do that. Um, I'm going to call this. Um, it should be HTTPS, for example. I'm going to call a fu call a function here, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to call this here and inside of the it. I want to make sure that my protocol is the correct one. So I'm going to use the method cy.protocol. And inside of this, I want to make sure that the, um, uh, let me see. I'm sorry, not, not, it is not CY protocol. I'm sorry, it is CY.location. <laughs> yeah, inside of this, we have to pass the property that we want to get from the window.location. So we have to use protocol here. All right, now it has uh, my HTTPS um, property in the memory. Let's imagine that. And I'm going to use the method shoot again. And I'm going to look if it contains the HTTPS inside of it. All right, there it is. Now, if I execute my 
test runner again it should be working fine if i'm not wrong and as you can see this should be https was executed correctly and well it is it finds or actually it found https inside of the protocol so it is working as expected that's it guys i guess that we're learning a lot right but i have more for you we're gonna learn how to get the uh, host name what is the host name in this particular case well it is www.sasdemo.com not https just this part of the url all right so let's go ahead and make sure that we have the correct host name in this case i'm gonna call this shoot um the host name should be and i just want to copy www.sauce.demo.com all right okay so i'm gonna just call a callback function here you might be wondering why i call this in the in the old um, javascript uh, standards right why it is i'm not using ecmascript i will have to explain you this in the future it has a reason so i'm gonna just call allocation method again please subscribe if you want to keep learning about cypress as i i always told you all right <laughs> and um, i'm gonna use the method cy.location but in this case i just want to call the host name property of the object location window.location now i just have to call the the method shoot the assertion method could shoot and i'm gonna make sure that it equals to the string that i want to pass here which is well the host name and if i execute this code in the test runner you will see that probably it is working fine because it is visiting sauce it is the, the method location is the, um, well returning the host name which is www.saucedemo.com and it is matching the string that i passed by the code right so that's good let's continue with another interesting method and i think that it is the last one but not the less important because this is gonna be amazing please subscribe and let a like <laughs> i'm gonna call another method name shoot redirect slash inventory dot html all right I'm just gonna call the callback function and i'm gonna explain you what i'm gonna do in this it it's gonna be amazing and you are gonna learn a lot let me just show you this i'm gonna expect a what well, well the, the test case in this that i want to try to reproduce is well the, the first one that i try to explain you at the beginning of this video logging with the standard user secret password and logging all right and make sure that this url has this part of the url slash inventory that html all right so how i can do that the first thing that i have to do is fill the form right username password and click on login how i can do that all right so we're gonna start playing with selectors this has to be another video totally different and independent because there is a lot of stuff in selectors that you have to learn but uh, i'm gonna try to introduce you very quick I'm going to inspect the username input here as you can see we have class we have placeholder type data test id name and so on all of them are uh, well kind of attributes right yeah i think so so uh, you might be thinking you should use id because it is unique and probably is is the best way to select an element in cypress right but it is not it is important to mention that cypress has two other um, attributes in priority list the first one is see why uh, data or test and the second one the second one is data test so i'm gonna be using this attribute um how i can select an element with with this data test and username well we're gonna learn that we're gonna use the method cy.get and inside of it we're gonna use this structure we're gonna just call the data test attribute here we're gonna use it as a key mm -hmm. and then we have to pass the value in this case is username all right but username has to be inside of columns here uh, that's it that's good 
and uh, well now it is actually getting the data test username element if i am not wrong <laughs> and then i just have to type there the thing that i want to, th to type in this case is the accepted username a standard user mm -hmm. and now my script should go and enter the standard username in this input space or field let me check if i'm recording and i am <laughs> i'm gonna expect the password uh, input field and i'm gonna make sure that all right i'm gonna do the same thing i'm just gonna copy this uh, this line all right twice because i want to type the password and then click but uh, the change that we have to do here in the password field is change the data test to password right Mm -hmm. and then i'm sorry the uh, here the password and also the value has to be different right the password is secret password secret sauce i'm sorry mm -hmm. there it is and now i want to click the login i just have to make sure what is or well verify what is the data test attribute and the key in this case is login button now in the, i don't want to type inside of the button right i just have to click here or i just want to click here so i'm gonna click with the method that click that cypress provide us all right now my my test runner should be actually going to to the right to the well the inventory html right as you can see here it is actually getting the username we're gonna type there the the standard user uh, well value then it is gonna look for the password then we have the value inserted and then i click on it and as you can see it is redirecting as expected to the website that i want but i want to make sure that it has inventory right in uh, well in the url so how it can do that well it is pretty similar though to the other uh, methods that I have shown you. you just, I just have to use the method location all right and look for the path name if I am not wrong let me just verify my notes but I think that it is path name and I mean I'm correct now I just have to well use an assertion and make sure that it equals the value that I want to make sure that it's present in my URL in this case is inventory.html and if I execute this in test runner you will see that it is actually getting the path name in this case is inventory.html and it is actually asserting the value with inventory.html that I entered in my code and as you can see well my my suite is pretty interesting right now we have validated the title, title tag the url the https the host name and the inventory we have to learn more about selectors so please subscribe because it is gonna be a demo in the next video of this channel please let me know in the comments if you like this video if you learn something new and if you don't please let me know what would you like to understand and learn in the future so maybe i can help you with something else thank you very much for watching the video this was young media see you in the next one and bye bye it's a pleasure bye